Hey, so um, left off right here. We were setting up the resource names, setting it on these two things, these two subtasks for deliverable one. And you would, of course, have it as div2 and div3 and div4 and set the resource names as yourself on all of those and all that, um, except for the deliverable one right here. You wouldn't have that. And div2 right here, you wouldn't have that. Um, Next thing he says to do is use file, properties, contents, and make sure the amount of work shows up as reasonable. So file, properties, contents, and you want to just make sure that the uh, amount of work there is reasonable. So right here it all adds up to about, I guess, nine hours total, and that's the nine hours there. And just make sure that it's reasonable, you know, nine times 65, make sure that's a reasonable price. Make sure it's not a, you know over a million dollars or anything that just is rid ridiculous um, for this kind of a project that's not worth a million dollars. You know, um, let's see. Unless unless your business is, you know, I guess it all depends. Um, but that would be a lot of hours. So I don't think that still doesn't make sense. Um, so when you've got a reasonable plan worked out for the project. Uh, you can use tools tracking to set a baseline so that you can use the tracking view to show the difference between the planned and the actual project. So um, you would go to tools tracking save baseline once you have all of this completed and uh, once you make all of your tasks, tasks and all that and then you would uh, see over here the base baseline. Um, actually, I have a page right here. This will actually go into more detail on how to do it and what it looks like. But um, basically, you save the baseline. And once you do a couple more things, you can view it as whatever works actually completed, which you would update this right here to actually say that you you know, completed this 45% or 100% however much you've completed and it'll show up right here this little gray thing is the baseline the red one is the actual so as you can see right here this guy thought he was going to only take this much time as the baseline ended up the red he actually took about two and a half times more time doing that one task than he had thought in other cases where maybe you start um, later than you had expected and every so often I guess you have the case where it's actually the exact same usually maybe near the beginning of the uh, project but once you get farther out um, it's prob probably going to be uh, much different than the actual baseline unless you made a good prediction of how much time it was going to take to do everything um, but yeah, just read uh, this page. It's pretty short, and it will has a lot of images and things. And you can click on another image to view another image, and uh, it'll help you out on doing the baseline. Um, let's see, and then if you go to the uh, this right here, this page right here, is actually in the description of this video, by the way. Um, and if you go to the second link in the description, or at least... Oh yeah, this page is also in the description, so this will be the second link. And this one right, this one right here will be the third link. And if you come down a little bit to project number one, div number three, MS project, it says div number three, MS project plan for your individual project number one. Um, max points may be found in these guidelines which is actually this page right here um, make sure to mark all effort completed for divs number one and two um, so you would basically just say 100 percent Oops, 100 um, percent and it'll say it's checked which is completed um, and you'd also want to make this completed as well even though it doesn't have anything to do with, oops, oh, because you can't, huh. 
Well, it's zero percent, so I guess you can't say hundred or zero hours, so you can't say hundred percent. But um, for the due date, let's see. And again, just check files, properties, uh, contents, or whatever. Yeah, we already just went to this. Make sure that it looks reason reasonable for your um, final thing, and then uh, bill your effort at sixty-five dollars an hour. We already put that in. We go to resources. It shows 65 dollars an hour standard rate, and we could put an email address if you wanted, if you wanted to, and stuff. But you don't need to. Uh, let's see. Uh, reasonable for a talented noob in River, River City. Um, you will want to deliver the well-formatted, printed copy in class on the deadline. And submit another copy as uh, an attachment to VCU email on or before midnight of the deadline. And so you just want to print out um, this and possibly also this chart that might be useful to him as well, including the baseline. That's, that's something probably he might want. Um, the baseline up to this point and all of this, everything that you make here. And that should be possibly also properties and maybe this, or you could go to view reports, costs, uh, cash flow maybe, or budget. And you could go to view reports and do any uh, report you want. You could print any of those out that you think he might be looking for. Uh, this would be a good one, I think. This would be nice um, show you the cost um, you could also do uh, cash flow maybe see what cash flow looks like um, yeah it's not bad uh, And of course, if we made this like eight hours, maybe it might look a little better if we went to view reports, costs, budget. And now it actually shows like for the uh, number of hours we worked, four fifty-five dollars is what it came out to. And you could also do cash flow as well. Um, but you're not actually getting any money yet, so I don't think that, or cash yet. So budget should be fine for now, or you do cash flow. Either one, I think, pretty much does the same thing. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. You just uh, follow that, and you should be good to go for div three. It should be a lot simpler than the other uh, two divs so far. Should be a lot faster than div two for sure. Well, that one took a while. Um, and uh, that should be it. All right.